Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 6, Leviticus 14 through Numbers 2, From Cleansing to a Camp Map. In Leviticus 14 and 15, what rules of cleanliness were health-related and what were worship-related? What role did faith play in rules of cleanliness? In Leviticus 16, what was the Day of Atonement? Does it somehow relate to Good Friday? What is the Most Holy Place? What happened in the Most Holy Place in the Temple at the death of Christ? What did the veil being ripped at Christ's death represent? In Leviticus 17, how does deep respect for the life in the blood relate to the cross? Is God teaching Israel to respect all life, even though they ate meat? In Leviticus 18, how does respecting sexual boundaries preserve a society? In Leviticus 20, how were various capital crimes designed to preserve the nation? In practice, was capital punishment carried out often? In Leviticus 21 and 22, how do exacting rules for priests relate to Christ's perfect priesthood? Do they apply in any way to Christian pastors? Was Hosea an exception? In Leviticus 22, why was God so specific about sacrifices? In Leviticus 23, can you name the festivals in the Jewish liturgical calendar? Which was the spring, early summer, and which were fall feasts? How can each feast relate to the gospel? In Leviticus 24, what do olive oil and bread symbolize? How lightly do we treat blasphemy today? In Leviticus 25, what was a land sabbath? What was the Jubilee? How is Jubilee redistribution different from socialist and or communist redistribution? Could principles of the Jubilee be applied nationally today? In Leviticus 26, what are the national blessings and cursings? In Leviticus 27, why is God so detailed about the value of vowed offerings? If our churches don't make pledges, do we personally make pledges to God? How flippantly or seriously do we treat our church offerings today? Congratulations, we've finished Leviticus for now. In Numbers 1, why was there a census of males 20 and above? Why were the women and children not counted? Why were the Levites not counted? In Numbers 2, draw up a map of the camping layout of the tribes of Israel with the tabernacle in the middle. What four tribes headed each three-tribe camp at the compass points east, south, west, and north. Which tribe camped in the middle by the tabernacle? For in-depth study, what are the symbols for the tribes of Judah, Reuben, Ephraim, and Dan? Notice how the cherubs in Ezekiel 10, with four faces, also had these same faces. Just for fun, can we divide all Christendom into 12 tribes? Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, God be with you.